everybody. It's Robert, otherwise known as 88 Hawaii. Well, I'm off on another adventure and the map that I have is very, very poor. It doesn't even, it, it shows lines for side streets, but it doesn't show, um, it doesn't show names of those lines. It just has, it just has a line, a whole bunch of lines, and it just shows the main drag that I'm supposed to be on, which is QEW, and it just shows a, a start point and an end point. So this is going to prove kind of difficult. Actually, it's very difficult. I'm going to have to pull over. Uh, fortunately, I brought my Microsoft Streets and Trips, and I have it loaded on my laptop. I was looking at it in the airport and trying to look at the streets and get a good feel. But this, this doesn't look good. Um, I'm going to have to figure it out. Anyways, let's see, here we go. Oh yeah, so I talked to my one of my really good buddies, he's in San Fran. I had him in college and we we had a pretty good chat. Yesterday yesterday we, we had a good conversation. He's married, he's got a kid three months old. And I, I talked to him about heading up California. And basically, basically, you know, he, he gave me a rundown. He says, you know, it's no, um, it's it's not as easy as you think. And I believe him. You know, you you have to. It it, it, it never is easy, you know. So I'm I'm getting kind of concerned that I'm getting older and. I'm getting to a point where I'm less, I mean, I, I got a pretty good thing going. You know, I got I got a great social life, I've got friends, and to uproot that and to move, it's, uh, it's extremely stressful. So, I'm, I'm thinking twice about it. Now, I'm, I'm uh, and, and I'm getting to a point where I'm less flexible. I, I, I don't want to change as much. I like what I have. And I'm concerned that I, I'll, I'm going to get to a point where I reach an age where I just don't want to change and I'm not going to do it. And that, ba that basically gridlocks me into Hawaii. Um, well, I'd like to get your thoughts on it because I believe the collective wisdom of a whole bunch of people that have probably gone that have gone through the experience can give me a better a better way to to make a good decision. You know, um, people that have gone through it, they can tell me the downs and the ups. If when they look back, if they regret it or if they wish they did it earlier, you know, I. I I like to take people's opinions and and weigh them and, and you know get a get a good idea of um, what's it you know I mean what what I'm up against is the trade-off worth it is is the instability of moving out to California and not finding a job for six months the the risk the the risk of that if it's worth what I have now I have a lot of stability um, it seems like. It seems like there's nothing to worry about. I don't have to worry about layoffs. I don't have to look over my shoulder and be concerned that, you know, the next month there's no more work. Um, there is a there is a big comfort zone where I'm at. I have I have it pretty good. The only gripe I have is that my pay is 50% less than Canada. I mean, not Canada, California. And so. Yeah, so that's my big right, and you know, if I if I head up to Canada, I mean, if I head up to California, I could probably make enough in just a few years and have a really huge down payment, maybe even 
buy an apartment outright with the cash I'd save. Um, in Hawaii, I, if I keep working where I'm working, it's going to take me a long time. And the truth is, I might not even be able to... I might not even be able to pay it off until until it, you know I'm really really down the road like 20 years or 30 years because by the time I save money enough to make a down payment in Hawaii the real estate prices keep creeping up so the, the real estate prices creep up and here I am trying to save and it's really hard to save so I'm thinking you know maybe I do need to go to California for a few years and you know make that sacrifice take that risk and make make um, you know practice a lot of restraint and a lot of uh, discipline in delayed gratification and save instead of buying that Ducati 1098 <laughs> that's pretty much what a lot of people do you know they all my buddies moved up to to the Bay Area and um, boy man they just splurged because the money was so fat you know so I think that's just human nature but I I, I would really appreciate any um, responses or comments to that to me this is a big big uh, how would you say pivoting, pivoting point a big fork in a road where where you know I I'm, I'm thinking you know maybe I should move up there and and just take a temp job and just see what you know work at a temp agency not get the best pay but at the same time apply for other jobs and see what I get if I can find something stable um, the thing about changing jobs is that whenever you change jobs they're they're watching you carefully and you got you really have to prove yourself Right now, I, I don't have to prove myself where I'm at, at the office. I'm good at what I do. I just do what I need to do and get it done, and that's it. I don't have to really haul extra hard to show anybody anything because I've got a history of work. So that's that's my my gripe. That's my that's what I've been that's been on my mind um, in these in the in this whole path here, but really in the past couple of days. It's been really sharp on my brain here.